All right, guys, so I just uh, walk you through a little mock-up of the uh, waste tank that I'm trying to get made right now. Um, I've talked to Ronco Plastics, and they gave me a variety of, of tanks to choose from, and I found one now, but I just uh, wanted to put it in place and kind of see what all the dimensions are and make sure that it's all going to fit in this you know, semi-tight little location here wait a second remember how we talked about putting the holding tank here in the bathroom in that shower and remember we completely demoed the shower well we found a better spot so we're gonna go put it in here instead location here we're gonna have to build a shelf on top of it so it stays safe in there and try and thread the lines through those uh, through holes right there and uh, so I figured I'd make a little cardboard mock-up. So I'm working on just getting all the pieces cut right there. But kind of the fun part that everyone says that they uh, will never need the Pythagorean theorem. If you can see this little plan here, they did not leave the measurement for the hypotenuse right here. So I used Pythagorean theorem. What did he just say? And came up with 14.53 for that measurement. That should be correct. All right, a little practical math there. <laughs> it's demo day, baby. Wait a second, what kind of bright idea do you have now? What are we demolishing? I'm gonna cut out these shelves so we can put our waste tank back here. Um, they just made these shelves kind of to cover the transducer down here and possibly put batteries on. I don't know why they did in the past. Um, but we're gonna put a waste tank back here and then I'm gonna build another shelf on top of the waste tank with access for a little access hatch in the tank and uh but we'll stack our batteries all the lithium ions along this hole here the solar components up here and uh that would be that groovy and i think he just made a replica of our tank here i don't know if you can see it's kind of bright in here um pretty cool design utilizing what we have Obviously, I am trying to clean some of the stains that uh, were from previous owners. And while I let it dry, I'm gonna just try to do some editing right here in some sunshine. Doing it, doing it. All right, so here's the little mock above the tank in the little area that I just demoed that little piece of the shelf out of there. Ripped some of that. It was all just fiberglass onto the wall, um, which is proper. We definitely don't want to be drilling holes through. That's the side of the hole, so if we drill through that, then the ocean's coming in. This tank is as good as I could find on Ronco that will fit in our area. Fortunately, they don't make one that'll kind of go up against the hole all the way like that, so we're gonna have that big gap, which is kind of just wasted space. Kind of a bummer. Um, I don't know. I'll keep playing with it. See if I can figure something else out. So if anyone's ever had trouble getting a stainless steel screw to stick onto a Phillips head, just thought of a new way to solve that problem. I wrapped a little bit of butyl tape around the tip of that and uh, stick the screw on and voila! 